Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we are visiting and eating at an Ethiopian restaurant. As we drive to the restaurant, I'm going to talk a little bit about Ethiopian cuisine. Ethiopian cuisine is known for its unique flavors and communal style of eating. They serve dishes on a large platter called injera, which is a soft and spongy sourdough flatbread. Personally, we don't like injera that much so you won't see that in this video but the food is typically eaten with your hands and you use the injera to scoop up the various stews and dishes. A term used to describe Ethiopian stews is called wat. It can be made with a variety of ingredients such as meat, lentils, beans, and vegetables. These stews are often richly spiced with a mixture of herbs and spices, giving them a distinctive and flavorful taste. also the birthplace of coffee and the coffee ceremony is an important cultural tradition. The ceremony involves roasting coffee beans, grinding them, and brewing the coffee. It is a social event that brings people together to enjoy the freshly brewed coffee and engage in conversation. Ethiopia is one of the world's leading coffee producers and exporters. Ethiopian coffee is highly regarded for its unique and diverse flavors, with various regions producing different taste profiles. Ethiopian cuisine is also vegetarian friendly. It offers a wide array of vegetarian and vegan dishes due to the prevalence of fasting in Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity. During fasting periods, many Ethiopians avoid animal products leading to the creation of flavorful and satisfying plant-based dishes. Ethiopian cuisine reflects the country's rich cultural heritage and history, making it a fascinating and delightful culinary experience for food enthusiasts around the world.
And here we are pulling into the Ethiopian restaurant in Flickerville, Texas. It is called Taste of Ethiopia Restaurant and Cafe. This is the inside of the restaurant. And as you can see, there are a ton of Ethiopian decor and paintings. And it gives off a very welcoming and cultural atmosphere. It was not busy when we got there. There were only about three other people, but the waiter was very efficient and he did a good job at helping all of us at one time. Instead of the waiter bringing you a check, you can pay up at the front and you could also get orders to go at the front as well. This restaurant also has an outdoor seating area with those bowls that you see on the table are where they put the food in. Here is a closer look at some of the paintings and a little more of the decor as well. And then here is the menu. As you can see, they have everything organized and every dish described in detail so you know what you're ordering. For our appetizer, we got samosas. We got three meat and one lentil. And then for our main meal, we got goat and beef stews with a side of rice and kind of like a coleslaw. Everything was 10 out of 10, flavored beautifully. There was nothing too spicy and it was all really nice. This was just a little bit more of the decor and I'm about to show you the outside of the restaurant which is in kind of like a cul-de-sac and it's also a little bit secluded
And this is us leaving the restaurant. We enjoyed the food very much. Everything was amazing. The food was seasoned very well. The service was top notch and everything went smoothly. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed watching us embark on a journey to eat Ethiopian food. Um, subscribe and comment down below if you have eaten Ethiopian food and what your favorite dish is. Thank you guys for watching again and I hope to see you next time. Bye.